Hi, welcome to Ask Less. I'm Less. When you are dealing in compressed air, and you're utilizing compressed air to operate a machine, uh, whether you're running it for blow off, for cooling, for whatever application, you should consider the whole system, not just the area that you're using it at. You have to understand the system you're dealing with. Let me give you an example. We had a customer one time. Uh, that wanted to utilize two 30 CFM panel coolers, uh, Vortex tube operator panel coolers, which use only compressed air for cooling enclosures, uh, because the air conditioners are constantly breaking down, it was a very dirty environment, the maintenance on them was very high, it was actually less costly to use the energy from compressed air to run their coolers. Very noble uh, application. So, they installed a 30 CFM cooler on each of two control panels. However, the panel coolers were at the opposite end of the factory where the compressor was located. And they were having some problems. It, they weren't getting the pressure that they wanted going into the coolers. Why? Well, we found out that they were utilizing only three quarter inch pipe to deliver the compressor throughout their whole factory. They had enough compressed air, but the pipe size was just too small to have it utilized efficiently or utilize that much compressed air at that end efficiently. If you're running 60 CFM through three quarter inch pipe with fittings, bends and everything else considered, you're going to end up with about a 50 pounds per square inch pressure drop by the time you get to those coolers. That's significant. So they could get no more than about 70 pounds pressure going into those coolers. Didn't work to optimum efficiency. They needed to have 80 PSI. So what we ended up doing was replacing those. They, they isolated the hot spots in the, in the control panels and they ended up only needing to use 15 CFM coolers in each one. So not only did they use less energy, they were very smart by, by actually isolating those really hot spots. That's what they needed to cool. And by utilizing only 30 CFM overall instead of 60 for two coolers, the pressure drop was a lot less. So you have to look at the system. Now imagine, if they had a one inch pipe instead of three quarter inch, that 50 PSI pressure drop would only be about 20 PSI. If it was one of the quarter inch pipe, it would only be a 10 PSI drop. So when you are looking at any compressor system, make sure you understand the system that you're dealing with. If you have any other questions concerning the use of compressed air for blow off, cooling, drying, moving, ask less.